So we're going to take a little look now at empathy and mood. So mood, as I define it, is a physical predisposition for action. I might use this word slightly differently as you use it in daily life. So you could just call it a disposition that's in your body. We alluded to this earlier when we said that a leader uh, has a certain way of being. They're leaning in one direction, yeah? physically but also emotionally in terms of what they're capable of. Um, if you think of your friends, you might have a friend kind of like Tigger and a friend kind of like Eeyore. So, so one of them, if they won the lottery, they'd say, oh, it's only going to make me unhappy. Yeah? And another one, if, if, if you know, something bad happened to them, they'd say, well, there's going to be a positive side anyway. And, you know, they're upbeat and they're energetic. So they, these guys have two very different moods. And they, I've got several pictures of them. Whatever the situation, that mood is still being expressed. An emotion might come temporarily on top of that, but this longer-term physical mood is always there underneath. It's like the canvas which our emotions and states get painted upon. Um, here's the scary thing. You all have a mood. You've been in one probably for a few years. They tend to be quite long term. Um, and it's invisible. So if you think of it like an old, comfortable pair of shoes, you're so used to them that you don't feel them anymore. You've habituated to them in psychological terms. So if your shoes literally are comfortable now, you probably weren't feeling them until I mentioned it. Your mood is even more comfortable, because it is your body, yeah? So you say to someone who's, say, living in a kind of a mood of uh, resentment or resignation. I know whole departments that have been in the mood of resignation. And they're kind of down. And you say, you're in a mood of resignation. They say, no, I'm not. I'm just realistic. There's no point. <laughs> Don't bother, yeah? So it's very difficult to feel your own mood, which is where feedback comes in. Uh, it's like the note pinned to your back, if you will. The really scary thing is that everybody else can see it. Yeah? So you met a whole bunch of new people today, and within a few seconds of meeting you, they made a, what I call an unconscious somatic assessment. So part of them was going, I now have an opinion about you. It might have been more conscious, it might have been less. Um, a dog can do this. Yeah, a dog knows when its owner's in a, in, a, in a good mood or not. And a child can do this when they want to say, is now a good time to ask for pocket money? So it's, it's a pretty low, you know, we all have this skill. It's a matter of how accurately you're doing it and how much awareness you have. So we're all constantly giving something off as leaders, but we don't know what it is. It's kind of scary, right? It's like, oh, hang on. So what we've got now is an exercise that can bring to light some of your mood. Um, it also relates to empathy. So we're going to do an exercise around copying and empathy. So empathy, if I define it, is in the intention to connect in the present moment. It's very much here and now. This is a definition that comes from something called nonviolent communication. I use a lot in, in peace work with different people that want to kill each other. Um, it's a felt sense as well. That's really what we're going to get into with each other in the felt sense of what it's like to not just walk in someone's shoes, but to walk in their skin. That's what we're going to do now. Two ways to do this. One is that we all skin you alive and take that skin off and put it on someone else. That's the kind of extreme way, so we're going to do a more moderate way, a more of a fun way. We won't do that way. The, the more moderate way is where we copy each other. So, it works very simply. Um, you've been doing this since you were kids. Uh, one, you'll be in pairs from your home group. One of you walks, and the other one impersonates them. You walk around. The person, bear with me, the person walking just goes about their business. Uh, you might feel a bit self-conscious, but that's all right, because your body will still be doing its thing. And you walk around, you can pretend you're walking to the bus stop, you can pretend you're doing what you do, you can get interested in the environment, pick up a chair, move it, get a drink of water, do whatever you do, and the person that's following you, they copy you. Exactly. So the way to do this is, A, is you sort of look at the person and you get a bit of a taste for them. Yeah? Get a bit of a taste for how they stand or kind of do their thing. Yeah? And then you can start looking at exact things they do. So, so this, how does someone put their feet? Yeah? How does someone put their hands? How does someone stand with their head forwards or their head back or their chin slightly up? Okay? So this will feel very funny. Um, 
It is comical because you're stepping out of your body and that feels kind of uncomfortable and weird. Yeah? What I ask you is to stay out of the kind of joker energy and really stay with it as an exercise of empathy. Please don't talk because that will take you out of your bodies. So very quickly, pair up with your, someone from your group. One walks, one copies them. Off you go. <laughs> Taste what it's like to be them. How is it to walk in their shoes? Where are the tensions? What might they be capable of that you're not? What possibilities might be closed to this person? Which behavioural direction are they leaning? OK, we'll finish with empathy. Um, for me, empathy is something massively important for, for, for a leader. I, I, I worry about leadership without empathy. I worry about where, where that leads to. Part of this exercise was about raising awareness of mood. Part of it was about empathising with the other person. So does anyone feel like they have a better sense of that person, having just for two or three minutes copied them? Yeah? So hands up. So, obviously, so it's quite a common experience. You go, and in daily life, you won't start copying someone, but you could just kind of look at them and take the feel of them on. Yeah, this is part of empathy. The mirror neurons are firing in the brain. My body's starting to do what their body's doing. Bodies are contagious. That's another thing that's uh, a little worrying when you think about it. So let's do a little bit of empathy before we finish. So with the same partner, one person puts their hand on the chest of the other person, if you'd if you be so kind. Uh, keep it in the safe and legal zone, so don't choke them. <laughs> Don't choke them or thrill them. <laughs> On the heart, and I'm going to speak about something I care about in leadership for one minute, and then we'll swap roles. 